Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Today uh, in the United States, we celebrate Labor Day. Uh, we, can't, we pray for the needs of those uh, who are working to support our community and, and to keep us all safe and, and healthy uh, and to keep them safe and healthy as well. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who have commanded the human race to bear the burden of labor, grant that the work we are beginning may bring progress in this life and, by your favor, advance the spread of the kingdom of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister, in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring to completion for, for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of his glory, of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is he whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom, that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. For this I labor and struggle, in accord with the exercise of his power working within me. For I want you to know how great a struggle I am having for you and for those in Laodicea and all who have not seen my, me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged as they are brought together in love to have all the richness of assured understanding for the knowledge of the mystery of God, Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In God is my safety and my glory. In, in God, God is, is my, my safety, safety and my glory. glory. Only in God be at rest my soul, for from him comes my hope. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed. In God is, is my, my safety, safety and, and my glory. glory. Trust in him at all times, O my people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our refuge. In God, God is, is my safety and my glory. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath, so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do, to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? To save life rather than to destroy it? Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and the hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Through the words of the Gospel, and may our sins be wiped away. Again, the Sadducees and the scribes are after 
Jesus, uh, trying to find ways to accuse him. I remember just a few Gospels ago, a few days ago, uh, the, uh, the Pharisees and the scribes were accusing Jesus. They said, you know, your, your uh, disciples, your followers, when they eat, they don't wash their hands ritually. They just eat with dirty hands. And, uh, you know, <laughs> you know you, they're getting this from the, the scriptures. They, you know, in scriptures they're told, who can stand before the altar of the Lord? He with clean hands and clean heart only. And, they, and of course, they take that literally. You have to have clean hands to stand before God. It's very important. God likes hands that are nice and clean. Oh, yeah. But of course, that, that reading actually means those who do no evil with their hands and harbor no evil in their hearts. But they're taking it literally. And it is literally there. And they live by the letter of the law, not by the spirit of the law. And here, they're saying, uh, he's curing on the Sabbath. That's work. He's doing the work of curing on a Sabbath day. And we're not allowed to work on the Sabbath day. God says, the seventh day you rest. You do no work on the Sabbath day. And he's breaking the rule of Sabbath, God's law of resting on the Sabbath day. He's evil. He's bad. They're reaching for it. They're trying their best. And what they're doing is they're taking God's rule and they're making it literal and absolute. And the thing about rules is that they, they can be superseded. I mean, um, an example. Let's say that you were, it's summertime, let's say you were a lifeguard out at the beach. And your job is to save lives and keep people safe while they're swimming. And I don't know this, but I assume uh, if they're going to be lifeguard all day long, they must have a lunch hour, right? So let's say they have a lunch hour. And it's like, oh, 12 o'clock, time for me to go to lunch. Uh, and they get down, they start heading off, and someone comes up to them and says, Oh, there, there's someone's drowning out there. Go help them, there's someone drowning out there. And he say, ah, Sorry, it's my lunchtime. I'm not allowed to work. Sorry, good luck. No, and go on there. You can't do that, right? Uh, and, and likewise, you're driving. Right? We know that red lights, we stop our cars. And that's for the safety of everyone and passing through and organizing traffic. However, if you drive an ambulance and you have an emergency case in your ambulance and your siren is blaring, you're allowed to run those red lights. That's what the siren is for. It's legal and very often you'll have a police car leading the way, helping to open up the traffic before you so you can save the life of the person in your ambulance. Because that need supersedes the basic law of traffic. And that's certainly the case with the Sabbath law. I mean, it's a good law that God made. He, <clears throat> pardon me, it's a, a rule that he made out of love, not out of domination, but out of love. Do no work on the Sabbath day. Why? As Jesus has said, Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Sabbath is a gift to humanity. So that people are not just workhorses and must work every day, every minute, all day long. The purpose of their life is only to work. Sabbath says no. At least one day a week, you don't work. You rest, you heal, you be with your family, you be with God. And you don't do work. But that rule can be superseded. That's a, that's a rule of love. God's love for us. And that rule of love can be superseded by other rules of love. The most dominant ones are, as Jesus had told us, love the Lord your God with all your mind, with all your heart, with all your soul. And love your neighbor as yourself. And that supersedes the rule of resting on Sabbath day. Uh, if you know, if you uh, you know that we go to church every Sunday. That's the rule. We must go to church every Sunday unless you're too sick to go. All right, that supersedes the rule if you're too sick to go. Or if you're too advanced in age and you can't do it safely. Or if the weather is so horrible that it's dangerous for you to try to get to church. That supersedes the rule of needing to go to church. But here's another one. Suppose you're fine and the day is beautiful, but you're looking after someone at home who is very, very, very ill and needs you to be there for them to care for their needs and to keep them well and healthy and safe. 
uh, and you can't, and there's no one to cover for you, you can't just say, well, I'm going off to Mass, so uh, good luck. No. You, you stay with them. You care for them. And you're not blowing God off. He is staying with you. He is assisting you and helping you and supporting what you're doing and helping our brothers and our sisters, our fellow man. This is an act of love that supersedes our requirement of coming to Mass, which is also an act of love. Here Jesus is healing uh, the man with the withered hand and other people he has healed on the Sabbath day. God's day. But he's doing God's work on God's day. Yes, it's work. It's not like building a wall, but it's it's work. I'm sorry, Jesus, but it is work. And um, he's doing God's work on God's day. And the, the law of love one another supersedes the law of rest and relax. It's, oh, it, it's greater than that. Supersedes the law of the Sabbath and fulfills the law of the Sabbath in the same way. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, the uh, scribes, they don't get that. They go to the letter of the law. Law says this, this is it. Bingo, that's it. They don't care about why. They don't care about what's behind it. They say, God says, and that's all there is. What God says, he says out of love. God is our God of love. He wants to draw us closer to himself. He wants us to draw closer to one another, to care for our brothers and sisters. And who are our brothers and sisters? Everyone is our brother and our sister. We need to care for everybody. And not just say, ah, they'll be fine. You know, the rule is, I got to do this. I got to follow the rules here. Uh, you'll be fine. Look after yourself. I'll look after me. You look after you. No, that's not what God wants of us to do. He wants us to look out for each other. To care for people and to allow people to care for us as well. Because we are brothers and sisters. We are a loving family in our loving God. The Sadducees, the scribes, they don't get that. They study the law, but they don't live the law. Jesus calls them hypocrites. They understand the law and they blow it off. They don't look deep inside and find the truth of God in, in what he teaches us. We are required to find that truth. Jesus points it out to us. Let us live the truth of God. Let us follow the laws, the rules, because they're there for a reason. But if there, are greater, if there is a greater law of love that supersedes it, let us embrace that. Let us embrace one another. Let us show goodness and kindness to one another and lift each other up so that the doorway to God for them is always open and the way is made plain for them to see and for us as well. Uniting our sufferings with Christ, let us turn to our God, our Father, and offer him our needs. For Pope Francis, may God continue to bless his efforts to spread the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For government leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them according to his will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those struggling with homelessness, May God provide the means for them to find shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For, the, for the community gathered here and at home, may God help us grow in knowledge and appreciation of each other's gifts and talents in our efforts to spread the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those suffering from physical, spiritual, or mental illnesses, especially Dorcas and Prav, Dennis Donovan, Mildred Bolando, Lucille Houdiyap, Regine Hooper-Campbell, Jeanette Silvestri, Lorraine, Michelle, Diana, 
Mary Louise Collins, Mary Teresa Agolia, Joseph Agolia, and Efren Bacani. May God bless them with healing, strength, and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. From Matthew Thompson, on the occasion of his birthday, that God may continue to bless him with his graces and many blessings, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead and the souls of all the faithful departed, may they rest in, may the rest for our beloved dead and the souls of all the faithful departed, may they rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We offer this Mass in a special way today for Anne-Marie Tenay and for Carmen Mighty or Meedy. May our Lord give them everlasting peace and life in his own arms. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for everyone suffering from the COVID pandemic and all other diseases and for all those people who are supporting them, assisting them and helping them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Uh, I pray again for my nephew, my nephew, Matthew Thompson. I call him Matto, uh, that his birthday may be a day and a year beginning of uh, joy and grace and great success. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for sinners everywhere. And we pray for all the holy souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our petitions. Look kindly upon these prayers we bring before you in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash me from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here nourish the human race with food and renew it with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image. You formed man in your own image. 
and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it.
Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. And now let us recite the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of this table of unity and charity, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that through the work you have given us to do, we may sustain our life on earth and trustingly build up in your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you. May Almighty God have mercy. Uh, uh, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy Labor Day.